What up, what up, what up, my friends? It's your boy, Monty, and I'm back again. It's time for Five Minute Cigar Review. One, two, three, four, five. What up, y'all? It is a cold, cold day here in Denver, Colorado. We just had a snowstorm blow through two days ago, and I hear we got another one coming in tonight, and I got to work tonight, and it sucks. But you don't care about the weather conditions here in Denver, do you? No, you do not. Unless you live here in the area, which I guess is possible. But what you do care about is my review. That's why you tune in every time I post one, I guess. Huh? Who knows? Romeo y Julieta. I'm sorry, 1875 Nicaraguan. Now they have the regular 1875, but this is the Nicaraguan iteration of it. Romeo y Julieta. Can you get in there? 1875. Uh, it's made by the Placencia factory. And uh, I'm just going to come right out and say I give it a three and a half stars. Th or three and a half fingers. We don't do stars here. Three and a half fingers. It's a decent smoke. <sighs> okay. It's a, pure, it's a Nicaraguan Puro, okay, so let, let, me, let me get these things out the way. It's a Nicaraguan Puro, it's a decent smoke, it's got a good build, decent little burn there, nice little tight ash, a good draw. Not too tight, not too loose, not too tight, not too loose, excuse me. Um, here's the deal, it's, oh, I'm sorry. It's got a woodiness and a sweetness to it with a very slight hint of spice. Nice combination. I like that combination. I like that. I like what it gives, but it's just like it's, ah, I don't know. It's, it's, it seems like it's missing something. So as I was smoking it, I wanted to read up on it. Now, you guys know, I'm not an aficionado. I am an, an enthusiast, and I like smoking cigars. I like giving you my opinion of cigars. So, But I wanted to read up on what the, what the flavors were. Like I said, I can taste the woodiness and I can taste the sweetness and a little bit of spice, but I was looking up something and something caught my eye and after that it's been stuck in my head. Uh, I just read it like maybe five minutes ago, so it's not like it's been stuck in my head for hours. But graham crackers. Uh, it said that there's a taste of graham cracker in here. Now, again, I'm not an aficionado. I'm an enthusiast. I've smoked a shitload of cigars in my life. I started smoking probably right around 20 years ago. Um, I've smoked a lot of freaking cigars, okay? I have yet to taste graham cracker on a cigar. I don't even know how you would make a cigar taste like graham cracker, but again, I'm sure there's somebody out there who's like, oh yeah, you know, this has that, and, that, and they'll give you all the fine, you know, tips on tasting and flavors of cigars and all that kind of stuff. And when you do this process, you get, I don't know all that. I just know I've never tasted graham cracker, and there's no exception here. I don't taste graham cracker, but for some reason, when I read that, that stuck in my head. Uh, I've tasted caramel, I've tasted clove, I've tasted licorice, I've tasted a bunch of other f food flavors. Um, I've tasted, you know, I've tasted steak on a cigar. I, I can't, I'm trying to remember what cigar I had, and it, it gave me the, the feeling or the taste of steak, like a nice rare steak. But I've never tasted graham crackers, and for some reason, that just seems odd to me that graham cracker would be the taste of a cigar. In spite of the fact that, again, I've tasted caramel and licorice and clove and steak and, and a whole bunch of other foods, but graham cracker? I don't know. Maybe, I don't know. It just screwed with me, I guess. So, there you have it. I taste the woodiness and I taste the sweetness and a little bit of spice and don't taste graham crackers. Uh, I think this, they mentioned caramel in the thing. I don't taste that either, but caramel didn't seem odd to me. Graham cracker just seemed it odd. It just seemed it. What kind of in language is that? It seemed odd. But other than that, there's really no complaints about the cigar. It's just, it's not, the woody and the, and the sweetness, they're just kind of flat, though. You know, it's not like, especially with the sweetness, I'm not talking about a flavored cigar, but you know, other cigars that have that sweetness, you can usually tell, like, sometimes it's a cocoa, sometimes it's, you know, the caramel, sometimes it's some, you can taste it, but to me it's just like a, it's not even sugar, it's just a, like a bland sweetness and the woodiness, and again, the spice is 
very mellow, uh, you know? So that's why it gets three and a half fingers. It's got a good combination, but it's nothing that just comes out at you. And this is like the second cigar I've had in the past couple of weeks like that. And like I said, it's made in the, at the Placentia Farm, but I don't know who, you know, commissions the, 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 the blend. Here you go, Placentia, I'm guessing it's just the farmers who, or the factory that makes it, based on what the uh, Romeo and Julieta people want. I see I'm over my five minutes and I gotta go. Hope you guys enjoyed this and don't forget to like and subscribe. Don't forget to uh, share and don't forget to leave your comments. Y'all will see me soon. Peace out.